What's up guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I want to show you how to add some cool filter effects to your ClickFunnels. So in particular, grayscale, blur effects, and brightness. All right, so let me show you what that looks like. So as you can see here, this one is blurred out. This one is grayscale, uh, black and white. This one has increased brightness, and this one is a combination. And I've set it up so that when I hover over them, it removes it, okay? So maybe if you want to hide something and say, hey, hover over this to find out the secret to this, you know, you can do that. So just some options to add to your library of knowledge. So let me show you how to do that. And then here, as you can see, some buttons that we've went over in the previous video. So if you, if you want to see how to get that, make sure to check out the previous one. But let me show you how to set all those up. So here's basically the properties. They're very simple. Um, let me remove all that, start from scratch. So as we normally do, let's go into settings. Let's grab our CSS ID selector for that picture. Let's paste it in here and let's start with blur effect. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll say filter blur and let's say what we want. So how many pixels do we want it to blur by? So if I say zero pixels, that's not going to do anything. All right. So that's going to be our default. If I say one, as you can see there on the side, the picture got a little bit blurrier. Two, three, four, five, okay? Stuff like that, six, et cetera, et cetera. You get the point. And if you wanna add a hover effect or you wanna make it active only on hover, then you say hover, right? So now it's gonna blur it only when I hover over it, right? Uh, so that's that, That that's for that one. Let me, oh no, actually I need a different ID selector. So I can't really copy paste that. So I'm going to grab the next one. Let me go here. So now the next one, let's say grayscale. So what we're going to do is we're going to say grayscale. And this one will be percent. So from 0 to 100. So 0% grayscale will not change anything at all. So you can see the picture is as is. 100% grayscale will make it 100% black and white. You cannot go over that. If I make it 400, it's still at 100, right? And actually it changes those options too, so that's pretty cool. All right, so uh, yeah, so I mean, play around with it, right? Like I said, anything over 100 doesn't matter, but it's from zero to 100. And here, as you can see, the color changed a little bit. So that's your grayscale, and you can do the same thing. You can just make it work on over as well. And there you go, right? So last but not least, let's go over the brightness. Copy that. And let's say filter. Now this one we're going to indicate by percentage wise as well. So 100% is actually your average. 100% is what it's going to start at. It's 100% bright. That's, that's the average. Uh, if you make it 0%, as you can see, it's black. There's absolutely no light at all. Uh, as opposed to grayscale, you can increase it over 100%. So if I make it 300, it's going to be pretty light, right? Um, and obviously, right, play around with that. Make it 200, it's going to be a bit less, as you can see. And it changes that as well. So make sure you kind of remember what these options are before you do that because you can't see it afterwards um so you know we can make it 150 maybe so that's 150 okay so you get the idea play around with it now if you want to add them all together let me get that css element just like we did in our uh, i think it was transition video um we just put them all together so we say filter this this and this right and then whatever whatever we want to say so let's say filter uh for example blur let's say blur uh five pixels and then let's say grayscale 50 percent and let's say brightness 50 percent and there as you can see this picture now has all of the above okay so there you go. That's how you do it. Something you can add to your library. I'm looking to do animations next. So finally show you how that works. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. Uh, please subscribe if you have already subscribed. Thank you. I do appreciate it. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video.